And Cuban President Miguel Diaz-Canel has called for peace and solidarity on national television. Diaz-Canel also added that his government will have to learn from the protests that started on Sunday. On Wednesday, Cuba announced it was temporarily lifting restrictions on the amount of food and medicine travelers could bring into the, bring into the country in an apparent small concession to demands by protesters who took to the streets last weekend. Thousands joined a wave of nationwide protests over shortages of uh, basic goods, curbs and civil liberties, and the government's handling of a surge in COVID-19 infections on Sunday in the most significant unrest in decades in the communist-run country. The government blamed the unrest on U.S.-financed counter-revolutionaries exploiting hardship caused by the decades-old U.S. trade embargo that Washington tightened in the midst of the pandemic, pushing the Cuban economy to the brink. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.